Welcome back. So today I wanted to do an overview of an old project that I had here, uh, which is called the electric poodle. I had this uh, hub motor lying around, so I thought let's put that at the end of a stick and put some battery on top. This is the project battery that I use for every kind of prototype idea. And uh, basically then at the end of the stick, which would be like um, one and a half meters approximately, would you have the throttle, a hand throttle. Uh, I just used one from an electric bicycle. This thing obviously kind of, it's no longer assembled and there's a reason why, because it didn't really work. First of all, this idea is not very new. Uh, there's some other projects that I kind of did some research online and noticed that there was this uh, e-paddle uh, so from a company in Germany and for some reason they didn't get that far as well in the project development the kind of halted so I was wondering why that, why exactly that happened so and then we have speed bat which I just found today which was from 2009 uh, I'm gonna overlay some video or photos of it here and then we have kickstick which is like the one of the recent projects that was either on Kickstarter or the other crowdfunding site. The first reason why it didn't work for me was because it weighed a lot. So this thing weighs more than five kilos uh, all assembled and it has this stick uh, pointing out of it. So you would only be able to carry it like this. And uh, it wasn't very convenient to actually get downstairs. That was the kind of main major thing for me. So I was thinking you could make it um, foldable and whatnot, but still it would be this heavy thing at the end of the stick which is the motor. The second thing was that it would actually it wouldn't actually pull me forward. This thing being in front of me it weighed just five kilos so the way the traction it could provide the whole power would be spent on skidding basically. It would go up to 20 kilometers an hour in around 20 seconds. So that's how slow the acceleration was. And uh, here's a funny story about this project is um, that I actually didn't own a skateboard or roller skates when I finished it so I had this thing in my hand but I couldn't try it out so what I did I went to this local uh, skate park that we have here in Riga and I asked some of the longboarders to try it out uh, the experience was very nice some of them gave me the, the boards to try it out so I could actually try it myself it was slow especially because the surface of that uh, skate park is kind of this weird wood skid even more than it would on, on tarmac or on the road once they kind of try and do the paddle thing, uh, just put it on the back and then that thing would push you forward, uh, that immediately kind of worked. But other than that, it's not really practical and um, I think it's going to remain as a prototype and nothing else at this point in time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time.